Brussels may be Europe's political hub, where deals on EU climate laws are sealed, but it's also one of the top 10 most polluted cities in Europe. Shrouded in shame and facing legal procedures from the EU, the city has a plan. It will lean on locals to monitor air quality. Known as Curizian Air, couple Amandine and Geoffrey have signed up, concerned for their future and their families. Uh, we're really interested because we have four, ch four children here in the city and we're, we spend a lot of time outside our apartment because we have a, here a small apartment in Brussels and we really spend a lot of time outside and we really want a better air quality for our children and for ourselves in the city. For the month of September, the couple will measure the concentration of nitrogen dioxide from their windowsill. Along with 3,000 others, the data will then be handed to policymakers like the city's mobility minister, Elke van den Brandt. Since taking up her post in 2019, she's had 40 kilometres of bike lanes built and brought about a 30k speed limit for cars. The most of the people in Brussels, they are really longing for better air quality, for more road safety, for another city. So we know that in the end people want to, to follow this direction. Our mobility plan is uh, was co-created between during three years and that the, most of the people who reacted, we have more than 8,000 reactions for a public inquiry, which, which is a lot, and they were all positive, or most of them were positive, so people do want to change the city, and of course, getting there will create some friction, but we need to explain to people why it's better for everybody. Another man also making the same case, but on a European level, is Spanish socialist MEP Javi López. Speaking alongside the Green Mobility Minister at this TV show about zero pollution for Green Week, the air pollution expert from Barcelona says it's high time to update old rules. We started uh, to uh, legislate about the air quality in the 80s. Uh, the reality is we were uh, partially effective improving the air quality of, for the Europeans. This is a good point. But the, the reality is after 15, 20 years, uh, the standards and, and the views of the World Health Organization change. And we should review and align uh, the standards of uh, our European legislation with the guidelines of the World Health Organization. The European Commission will launch an air quality directive proposal next year. But unless it's binding and implemented on the ground, bikers, joggers and people in the parks of Europe will still have to put up with pollution damaging both their health and their skin.